Hello students, welcome to AIMS India online classes. So here we are going to discuss about chemistry chapter that is acids, bases and salts. From this chapter in the previous sessions we discussed about different kinds of acids and their classifications and the different types of bases and their classifications we have seen. Now we are going to see about acid base indicators means the substances which can recognize these acids and bases. So about this we are going to see in this session. A substance which detects the acidic or basic nature of another substances by change in color is called acid base indicator. Okay, Some chemical substances are there, they can identify the other substances by changing its color whether they are acids or bases. Such kind of substances are called acid base indicators. It is not advisable to test any substance in the laboratory because it can be harmful. Yes, we told that acids are bitter in taste. Sorry, acids are sour in taste. Whereas, bases are bitter in taste. But in the laboratory, to identify whether the given substance is a, uh, whether an acid or base, we should not directly test them. Because some chemical substances are there which are harmful to us. We should not test them directly. First, we have to know the nature of those substances. Then only we can touch them or we can taste them. Until and unless we know about those chemical properties of the substance, we should not uh, taste them or we should not touch them also. So how to identify these acids and bases without tasting or touching them? For that purpose, we use some substances which give some color changes when they react with these um, acids or bases. Those substances are called acid base indicators. So hence, acid base indicators are used to check if a given substance is either an acid or a base. So, how many types of these indicators are there? Yes, majorly these are based upon the sources from which these indicators are prepared. These indicators are classified into two types. They are natural indicators and synthetic indicators. So, first let us go through these natural indicators. So, the indicators that are obtained from naturally occurring substances are called natural indicators. Yes, from the natural substances, some indicators are prepared. Those indicators are called natural indicators. For example, litmus, turmeric, chain arrows. These are the some substances which are derived from natural sources or natural substances. So hence, these are called natural indicators. Okay, uh, first among them is uh, litmus. Litmus is uh, extracted from lichen. So it is like a fungi. Lichen is a composite organism. Uh, it consists of fungi and algae living symbiotic relationship. Okay, this contains uh, some living organism like uh, fungi and algae. From these, uh, these uh, litmus is extracted. So as it is having its origin from the natural substances, it is coming under natural indicators. Litmus is a natural indicator. Litmus is a purple colored liquid in distilled water. Litmus comes in the form of uh, uh, strips of two colors. Actually, after extracting this litmus from the lichen, it is made into, uh, from the solution of this litmus, they prepare some papers, uh, those are called litmus papers. These litmus papers are of uh, two colors. They are available in two colors. One is uh, blue color litmus and the other one is red color litmus so there are two colors there are two colored litmus papers blue color and red color litmus now with these different colored litmus papers we can test acids and bases litmus liquid and litmus paper are used to detect the acidic and the basic natures of substances so the color of litmus paper in acidic solutions Yes, when we dip a blue litmus paper into a red uh, acidic solution, it turns into red color. Blue litmus paper turns into red when dipped in acidic solution. 
see they have taken a blue litmus paper they dipped in the acid solution then it turns into red color in this way when this blue litmus paper turns into red color and dipped into a solution then we can say that solution is acid that solution is acidic in nature in that way we can identify the acid solutions or acidic solutions by taking blue litmus paper as, as indicator when you dip this blue litmus paper into some solution if it turns into red color then we can say that solution is acidic in nature okay next the color of litmus paper in basic solutions if if we dip red color litmus paper into uh, basic solutions it turns into blue color yes if we take uh, some red color litmus paper and if we dip into this base solution it turned into blue color so by this property we can identify base solutions if we take a colorless liquid well if we without knowing its you know, nature if we take a, a redless paper and if we dip it into this solution when it turns into blue color then we can say the solution is basic solution so in this way we can identify acids and bases by using litmus papers for detecting acids we use generally blue litmus papers for the detection of uh, bases we use red litmus papers if we dip uh, blue litmus paper into acid it turns into red color if we dip uh, red litmus papers into bases it turns into blue color so what happens if you use the color in the reverse way that means if you dip this uh, red color litmus paper into acid what happens there will be no change in the color it will be in red color itself if it is blue colored litmus paper into base what happens then also there will be no change in its color it will be in the blue color only only blue litmus paper can show or can change its color when dipped in acids and the red litmus paper can change its color when dipped in base solution okay in this way litmus is used to detect or identify the acidic and basic basic nature of the substances next one more natural indicator turmeric it is very familiar to us mostly in our homes we use in the domestic purposes in the food items turmeric turmeric is also a natural indicator actually we know turmeric is of yellow color yes turmeric paper turns into red when it is dipped into basic solution turmeric paper does not change its color with acids yes turmeric paper can be used to identify bases when this turmeric uh, is uh, uh, mixed with bases immediately it calls or changes to red color when it mix the acids it won't show any color change anyhow but it can show color change with bases okay see here they have taken uh, turmeric uh, water or the turmeric solution if base is added to the turmeric solution immediately turns into red color if an acid is added its color will won't be change it will be in the yellow color itself so it won't show any change with uh, uh, acids it won't show any color change with the acids it can change its color to red when it is uh, base is added to it okay magic with turmeric yes we can do some color magic with uh, turmeric that is take some turmeric powder add a bit of water to it and prepare turmeric paste rub this turmeric paste uh, on the white paper so that that white paper becomes red in color sorry yellow paper yellow in color now draw a flower on that uh, yellow paper with a pencil color the flower with uh, soap water using a brush then you can identify that turmeric changes its color to red when soap water or lime water is added to it so when you uh, take lime water to draw a uh, flower or a, some diagram that uh, changes immediately its color to red color so even though you are writing with colorless liquid then after drawing it changes its color to red color you can see here okay why because here the soap water is basic in nature we told that 
turmeric changes its color to red when it uh, reacts with soap water or lime water which is basic in nature so when you write this uh, soap water or lime water as a draw, drawing or diagram immediately the diagram turns into red color on writing with uh, on writing um, the red, yellow colored turmeric paper this is the reason why they use uh, uh, one familiar word we uh, parani i think you have heard this generally ladies they use this parani to uh, decorate their foot what they do first they apply turmeric to their foot completely on that they apply some soap water or uh, lime water with uh, some design what happens immediately there it turns into red color why because there this lime water or uh, soap water which is containing base reacting with the turmeric which is natural indicator and then immediately converting into red color so this is the reason they use it okay turmeric is a natural indicator which shows color change with bases it won't show any color change with uh, acid okay next one chain arrows chain arrows is also one of the natural indicators chain arrows solution gives a dark pink or magenta color with the acid and a green color with the base yes it is a chain arrows it is also used as a natural indicator generally it's a solution chain arrows extract or solution will be light pink colored when this is added to an acid it turns into dark pink or magenta color and when it is added to a base its color changes to light green color in this way this chain arrows also can be used as an indicator and it is extracted from the chain arrows flowers and it, hence it can be called as natural indicator so this chain arrows gives magenta or dark pink color with the acids and a light green color with the bases okay now what we have seen about natural indicators we have seen one of them is a uh, litmus litmus is extracted from lichen which is natural which is having natural sources like fungus and algae so this natural litmus is available in two colors on the papers one it is called a uh, red litmus other one is blue litmus this uh, red litmus turns into blue color when dipped in bases and a blue litmus when uh, turns into red color when dipped in acids so in this way it shows uh, color changes and uh, hence uh, acids and bases can be identified now second one turmeric turmeric is also one of the natural indicator which shows its color change with uh, base only it won't show any color change uh, to acids okay the next one i have just now have seen about chain arrows these are all coming under natural indicators because these are having their origin or sources from the natural substances okay now let us say about uh, synthetic indicators indicators that are made in the laboratory are called synthetic indicators yes the chemical by using chemical substances these uh, indicators are prepared in the laboratory and hence they are called synthetic indicators for example methyl orange phenolphthalein etc these all come under nat in synthetic indicators or <coughs> man made indicators because they are prepared in the laboratory first let us say about methyl orange it gives pinkish red color with acidic solution and yellow color with bases yes when this meth actually it's a color in the name itself it is a orange this methyl orange is one of the organic substance which is in the orange color it is light orange colored solution when this added to an acid it changes to a uh, dark red color or pink dark pink color or red color you can say it changes to red when it is added to acid and when this methyl orange add a few drops to the base immediately its color changes to yellow color so by this indications color changes we can identify acid and base by using synthetic indicator methyl orange okay one more uh, uh, synthetic indicator is here that is a phenolphthalein it is also 
a acid base indicator synthetic indicator it's a color it is a colorless acidic solution actually it is a slightly acidic in nature and it is a colorless solution whereas methyl orange is light orange color it turns into pink in alkali solutions what did we say alkali solution means uh, alkali means base so it turns into pink color when it reacts with uh, bases it won't show any color change with acids phenolphthalein will not change the color of acid it will be colorless only but when we add few drops of phenolphthalein to base solution immediately it turns into pink color okay so these two are synthetic indicators methyl orange and phenolphthalein methyl orange is present in or light orange color when this methyl orange is added to a an acid actually acids will be colorless transparent they will be solutions so when you add few drops of this methyl orange to acid solution immediately the color of acid solution changes to dark pink or red color in the same way if we add few drops of this methyl orange to uh, base solution or alkali solution immediately the color of the base will change to yellow color so those are the two color identifications with the acids and bases by using methyl orange synthetic indicator and uh, by coming to phenolphthalein phenolphthalein is a colorless indicator when you add this uh, colorless phenolphthalein indicator few drops to acid it won't show any color change with the acid when you add the same phenolphthalein few drops to base immediately the color of uh, base or alkali changes to pink color we can see in the picture here pink color it has appeared when few drops of phenolphthalein is added to alkali so in this way phenolphthalein will show color change with bases or alkalis only it won't show any color change with acids so this is about uh, synthetic indicators okay children now based upon these indicators we are going to have small assessment so let us recollect once the point what we have discussed about the indicators what are indicators the chemical substances which shows color changes with acids and bases or we can say in another way the chemical substances which are used for the identification of acids as bases in the laboratory are called indicators so based on the sources these indicators are classified into two types what are those natural indicators and yes synthetic indicators natural indicators are those which are extracted from natural substances example for those litmus yes turmeric chain arrows these are natural indicators so in this uh, litmus is uh, extracted from lichen which is having sources like uh, algae and fungi so this litmus is available in two colors blue and red this blue litmus shows color change with acids and turns into red color and red litmus shows its color change with bases and turns into red color that is one next one turmeric turmeric is a domestic purpose use substance only we know that it is in yellow color this shows its color change only with bases and turns into red color it won't show any color change with acids next one chain arrows chain arrows is extract from the flowers chain arrows flowers and it will be light pink color its a solution will be light pink color when you add few drops of this uh, chain arrows uh, solution into an acid the color of acid immediately turns into dark pink or magenta color when you add these few drops of chain arrows solution into a base its color changes to light green color okay these are natural indicators what are synthetic indicators phenolphthalein and methyl orange these indicators are prepared in the laboratory and hence are called synthetic indicators methyl orange is in orange color solution if you add this to an acid it changes its color to dark pink or red color if you add the same to a base its color will be changed to yellow color what about phenolphthalein it is a colorless liquid when you add this phenolphthalein to an acid it won't show any color change if you add the same to a base its color changes to pink color so based upon these points we are going to see now some questions okay be ready children 
try to answer these questions try to test yourself so the first question which of the following statements is correct as it turns blue litmus red is it correct next one base turns white litmus blue as it turns red litmus blue base turns blue litmus red so out of this which statement is correct about uh, litmus uh, action towards acid base children check it one by one as it turns blue litmus red yes blue litmus paper when dipped into acid solution immediately its color changes to red color so first statement is correct let us check the remaining also base turns white litmus so white litmus itself it is not available litmus is available only in two colors to us so it is wrong next one as it turns red litmus blue no it is wrong it turns red litmus blue only base turns blue litmus red yes base is turn blue litmus red it is also correct sorry sorry red litmus blue base is turn red litmus blue it is also wrong now only one is uh, correct that is as it's turn blue litmus red that is only correct answer here a is correct let's go to next question that is the substance that are used to test whether a substance is acidic or basic or called so what are those substances called is it acid or base or salt or indicator so which is correct statement children the substance that you, that are used to i find whether the given substance is acidic or basic or called yes it is indicators we call them indicator or indicators the substances which are used to identify the given substances as whether they are acids or bases are called indicators next question phenolphthalein turns dash in acidic and neutral solutions so what is the color of phenolphthalein solution in the acidic and neutral solutions is it colorless or pink or red or green what is the color of phenolphthalein solution in the acidic solutions yes while discussing about phenolphthalein we told it won't to show any color change with uh, acid solutions what is the color of phenolphthalein it is a colorless solution so when you add this phenolphthalein to acids there will be no change in the color so it will be colorless only even with the neutral solutions also it won't show any change in its color so phenolphthalein turns colorless only it remains colorless only in the acidic solutions or neutral solutions okay next one the color of methyl orange indicator changes to dash with the pink basic solution so the color of base uh, methyl orange with basic solution what is the color of methyl orange it is a uh, in orange color so it uh, shows different colors with uh, acids and bases they're asking here how does it change its color with the basic solution see options red yellow orange or colorless what is that color children yes methyl orange changes its color to yellow on mixing with uh, basic solutions color changes to yellow find the natural indicator from the following so identify the natural indicator among these chain arrows sodium chloride phenolphthalein methyl orange so which of these is a natural indicator children what did we say natural indicator means the substance which is extracted from natural sources or natural substances and if it is uh, used for identifying the acids and bases then it is called natural indicator so what did we say natural indicators examples litmus turmeric and even chain arrows also okay chain arrows is 
one of the natural indicators what about the remaining let us see sodium chloride it is not at all a indicator it is a salt it is a chemical substance that's it it is not a, used as indicator and phenolphthalein and methyl orange these two are synthetic indicators not natural indicators because these two are prepared in the laboratory of course these are indicators only but they are synthetic indicators so only one is a uh, uh, chena rose that is a natural indicator among these all okay children this is about uh, indicators and their classification how they show color changes with uh, acids and bases okay thank you for watching our video please subscribe our channel and uh, visit our website that is www.aimstoday.in for latest updates and recorded videos thank you